A while ago, I ranked every Conan build set. However, what if I had to pick the best building tip for each? Today, I'll be doing just that, with one tip for every build set in Conan Exiles. Also, I'm making this video before the Age of Heroes drops, so I won't be mentioning the Argosian extension here. However, I will have separate coverage for that extension when it's available. If it's already available when you're watching this, then that coverage will already be up. So, let's begin. Sandstone gets very monotonous, so the best tip I can give you is to break it up and ensure there's enough visual separation so everything isn't one big blob. If you use sandstone timber or arcane, this gets significantly easier and a lot more attractive. Stone brick is similar to sandstone in that it needs to be broken up, but for my favourite tip, combine it with some form of wood. It plays well with stone brick's already present wooden pieces and provides a nice tonal match that I think really improves stone brick's aesthetics. Insulated wood is a great combo material, but on its own, it's best used in moderation. The best tip for this set is to keep things small and modest. Simplicity is often the best approach for insulated wood. Reinforced stone is another material that I think works better in combination with others, but on its own, use strong shapes to make it seem solid and fortified. Arcane pieces also add a much needed flair to this set, but in general, distinct and separate shapes will make it shine. Black ice has a tendency to end up as one dark blob, so try to build one singular structure with a good amount of shape, and make sure to light it nicely on the inside and the outside, and add fences, to make sure you have good visual definition. Kitan can end up pretty samesy and flat. To avoid that, use fences, door frames, windows, roofs, and sloping sides to get more of the lighter elements in there to break up the overbearing red tones. Also, kinda gonna break the rules here with the second tip, but I can't leave it out. Swapping Ketan Roofing for Yamatai Tower gives you a lot more options. Aqualonian, the best tip I can give you is just balance. Keep everything balanced, don't do anything too outlandish, and you'll find success in most builds with this set. Frontier benefits greatly from sharp shapes. Use sloping sides to give this set as much shape as possible, or just go all out with an A-frame house design. It's also great as a secondary material in combination with sets like Namidian too. Yamatai is now much easier to use with the towers extension, so the biggest tip I can give you outside of balance is to have a good material hierarchy. I like to use Yamatai walls, then tower walls, interior walls, frame windows, and flat arches, but you can swap that order up as and when it feels right. Having a material hierarchy like this stops all your walls from looking really plain and boring. Turanian benefits from strong segmentation, especially with the dome roof pieces from the extension. It can be a bit muddy and overwhelming if you throw a whole bunch of things together, so introduce careful separation of key elements to ensure each distinct part of your build stands out. Arena's tip is pretty easy, and that's just to create extra shape with varying layers, and especially the vaulted pieces. Arena can be very flat at times, so small touches like these can really elevate it. The Batteries of Decato is great for augmenting other building sets. Stages are great for segmenting interiors, bridges are good for more rustic builds, and though I don't like the treehouse foundations myself, they are a far more elegant tree building solution than pretty much anything else in the game. Stable on its own is quite boring, but it is a great augment, especially when used with simple brick pieces like sandstone, stone brick, or Nemidian. Mix them in to frame certain areas nicely, or just add visual difference with wooden or lattice fences. I do have another video all about the cool tricks you can do with this pack linked in the top right, check it out if you want to know more. Argosian is already pretty good, so the best tip I can give you is a mix of both the Arena and Aqualonian tips. Balance is very important, but also make sure you make good use of the vaulted pieces, awnings and so on. Argosian is at its best when it's shapely and elegant, so balance alongside that shape is essential. Stormglass is pretty easy to make nice things with, so the best advice I can give is thorough lighting. Warm, neutral, cold, whatever lighting you've used, make sure to add it generously and Stormglass will shine. Don't overdo it of course, but just the right amount makes Stormglass glow. Flotsam can get overwhelming, so break up solid structures with doorways and fences to give things more of a ramshackle scaffolding look, and on the more solid parts, use the roof pieces to introduce colour and visual breaks, elevating the set and making it far more interesting. Namidian is a top tier set, and by mixing it with other sets, it only gets better. 
I aim for medieval palettes with arena, Numidian and insulated wood, but it can also work with Aesir, Frontier, Yamatai, Stable and plenty more. Lost Dungeon. The tip I always rely on is having very good shape. Dungeon gets very muddy very quickly, so having a solid and well designed layout avoids many of Dungeon's usual pitfalls. There are multiple good tips for Dungeon, I already have a video covering them linked in the top right if you want to make your Dungeon build even better. Pyramid. This set can be a bit troublesome at times, so my best tip for good results is to have one core structure that stands tall compared to all other nearby buildings. This creates a nice hierarchy of height and visual strength, letting your main pyramid shine. Aesir. This set is incredible, but it can get a bit monotonous. Make sure you use roof pieces, banners, fences, or even pieces from other sets to create lots of visual separation and stop your build from becoming one big wooden blob. Zingaran. The set is kind of rough because it's just stake walls, but if you do want to use it, leave a couple of tiles between the walls and any internal structure so everything can breathe just a little bit. Chessboard. Pretty simple, mix white pieces with Aquilonian or Argosian, and black with storm glass or black ice. Finally, scaffolding. Kind of useless overall, but if you have building decay off and can place them on solid ground, you can use these pieces for large scale shelving. And there we have it, a single tip for every Conan building set. I gotta be honest, this was a little harder than I anticipated. Some sets definitely have multiple really useful tips, but hopefully this video has helped you out. And of course, feel free to add your own favourite tips in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful, esteemed Coffee Cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. If you want to get videos like this early, consider joining all those lovely folks over on Patreon, link is in the description and pinned comment. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.